everyone, so today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make this kind of messy bedhead hair into something quite sleek and glamorous looking. Now obviously my hair is naturally curly so it's a little bit different for me, but for those of you who have naturally straight or wavy hair and your kind of natural state of hair looks like this, which is just sort of quite messy and it does look nice, it's kind of quite a kind of bedhead look, but you want something that looks a little bit more polished, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first of all, I like to start off with a kind of slightly texturising spray. This is the V05 Give Me Texture Dry Texturizing Spray and just give this a really good shake and spray it into the roots of your hair. Now you want to do this from a safe distance because it can leave a little bit of a white cast like so and then on the other side and then I like to kind of just lift my hair up and do a little bit at the crown as well. So that kind of makes you look a little bit mental for a couple of seconds and then it just kind of work it into the hair and it just helps to kind of add a little bit of volume and add a kind of refreshed look. So now my hair looks like a crazy person's bird's nest. But what I like to then do is to take a big kind of round brush. Now this is important that it's a round brush because I feel like this type of brush gives you the best sort of texture and the best kind of smooth and pretty finish because it kind of makes your hair look all voluminous and nice. And I like to kind of brush my hair out from underneath first of all. So once your hair is kind of all brushed out, then you want to go ahead and section the top part off. So I just kind of take it from my ear upwards and section that part up with a clip. So now you've just got this part of hair right here. Then I'll take my straighteners, you can use whatever hair straighteners you like, these are the Cloud9 ones, they're my absolute favourite. And I'll take a kind of smallish piece of hair, so something like this. And you want to just run your straighteners over it kind of in an outwards motion one time. And then just go ahead and kind of twist the hair up into the straightener. You can do this in any direction you like and hold it for a couple of seconds. I did apply heat protectant before this video just so you're aware, but make sure you do. So just leave it for a couple of seconds. And then I like to just kind of let it drop. And then what happens is your hair ends up with this kind of lovely nice looseish curl at the ends and it looks really kind of glamorous and done. So I'll just show you how to do the bottom parts again. Take a section of hair, run your straightener through it if you need to, you might not even need to do this bit because if you've got straight hair already you probably can skip this step. But just tuck it under and roll it up. So you're kind of just holding it just there, leave it for just a couple of seconds and you want to just kind of let it drop very gently. So just hold your hair right there in that position and then drop it. And you can see you get this kind of lovely pretty blow dried effect to your hair that looks very done and very glamorous. So I'm going to continue to do this part and then I'll come back and show you how to do I've the I've done the majority section. of my hair in sections. The sections that are closer to your face take a little bit more work and I like to keep these sections kind of curling under. I feel like it just adds a nicer shape. So you do the same method but just curling it under rather than kind of um, curling it outwards like we did with the other sections. So just leave that in for a couple of seconds, like I said. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is probably enough. And then release. And the kind of nice wave that you've got should look a little something like that. So then the kind of top, top parts, which kind of are the front parts, so the parts that frame your face the most, these are the most important parts, I think. And what I like to do with these is I like to kind of straighten them perfectly first and then just curl them under. So you kind of get a nice flicked effect. And then I'll kind of run my fingers through my hair, make sure I'm happy with it if we think. And you can go ahead and kind of just individually curl any of your ends if you want them to just be a little bit more glamorous looking. So just do that and you'll be left with something like this. So I'm going to just go ahead and do the other side and then I'll come back and show you. So as finished. you can see now, you are left with this and you're left with these kind of lovely voluminous curls at the bottom of your hair and just a much more sleek kind of glamorous look than what we had before. So I am just going to add a little bit of hairspray. I'm using the TG Volume Collection, Your Highness Firm Hold Hairspray. Just a generous amount of this onto the curls and onto the crown. 
and then I just like to kind of scrunch the curls a little bit don't worry you're not ruining their shape you're just kind of making them sit in a little bit better I feel and then I like to just kind of zhuzh my crown a little bit just to add a little bit of volume up there because flat hair is something that I always struggle with when I'm wearing it straight so just zhuzh that up a little bit and then add a little bit more hairspray if you wish onto your nice curls and that's it that's how I created the very easy to my mirror just rolled on the floor the very easy to follow pretty kind of glamorous um look that takes you from a kind of blur hair day to feeling a little bit more glam so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you next time